had been in Oshun for, no, for more than a week, yes. Uh, but when we came back on Thursday, we assessed the situation with the governor. By Friday evening, there was an escalation of violence in certain parts of the state. We could start getting reports about people being, you know, intimidated, people being shot at, and all kind of things. So the governor decided he was going to have a state broadcast to calm nerves, reassure the people that, look, the military, they are not here to kill anybody. Come out tomorrow and cast your vote. So we were on the, the way to the governor's lodge. Actually, we stayed. We were staying within about five minutes, you know, uh, you know, distance to the governor's residence. And then we got to this on the, right on this the street behind the governor's residence. We met this military, you know, this uh, road check, and of course we we stopped. We were asked to come down. We came down. Myself, Sunday Dari, who's the PA to Ashwaju, and. Uh, Mr. Falabi, the Deputy Chief of Staff to the Governor of Ogun State. And we were asked to identify ourselves. And I identified myself as Lai Mohammed, and I was asked to step aside. Uh, and I asked, I thought I asked to get into the bus. And I said, why would I get into the bus? He said, because you're under arrest. And I said, what is my offense? And then mom, you know, put a gun to my head and actually pushed me into the, ve into the vehicle. We go into the vehicle. What and color we was the vehicle? I, well, I think it's, 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 it's a very, it must be black bus. Uh, it can take up to about 30, 30 people. We got to the bus and then we met this gunman, all hooded, very hostile. Our phones were taken off, taken away from us. And after what seemed like eternity, we were driven to the, direct, the directorate of the, uh, the headquarters of the, of the state security service, where we met other people who had been similarly arrested for whatever reason I didn't know. In various forms of demonization. Some of them were stripped naked. Some of them were uh, asked to be lying flat on the floor. They were asked to join them, which we did. We were actually waiting for the time they would ask us also to start undressing. My worry most time, I know all this time was, we could have been taken anywhere into the bush and be shot. So I was really very happy. I was relieved when we were finally, you know, finally taken to the directorate of the uh, SSS, the headquarters, who we'll stayed there, and after a long time, some officers came. Uh, we, were, we were put into the, we were, in, we, we were in the vehicle, they got down, they had discussions, they had meetings, then we were finally brought down. When we were brought down, we were asked, we were asked to line up, we did, the three of us, and then some officers came. Then the narrative changed, uh, and they asked where we were picked up told them it was in front of the governor's house. Uh, they said, where was our vehicle? We said, well, our vehicle, we were first out of our vehicle. We didn't know where our vehicle would be. After some argument, they asked, OK, we should go back to the bus. They will go and drop us where our vehicle was, you know, was dropped. Oh, well, no, where we were picked up. And I said, no, I won't enter that vehicle again. I won't enter that vehicle because I wouldn't know where they're going to drive me to. So how long did all this take? And when were you three, let go? Two, about two, three hours. And then until the officer, you know, volunteered to accompany us and give us, guarantee that, us, to guarantee our safety to where our vehicle was. After about an hour, we got inside the vehicle again, in that bus again. They drove us to where our vehicle was. And then again, they kept us inside the bus. For about an hour, for another one hour, there was a heated argument between the hooded gunmen and the officer. Finally, we were asked to get down from the vehicle. We got to our car. Our driver had been beaten. He had been dispossessed. And then we had no option than to drive straight into the governor's house, where, where we had to stay until the next, you know, the next morning. 